Hi guys, and welcome to Letter of the Week Lunches. This week we're not just sharing one lunch, we're doing two different lunches. Today, we're learning about the letter I. And I for insect. I'm glad my mom didn't put real bugs in my lunch. And we're also learning about the letter J. And J is for jellyfish. Jellyfish is what kind of weird. Especially that one. It looks pretty, but kind of weird. I had a really hard time coming up with food ideas that started with the letter I. So instead, we're going with an insect slash bug themed for today's lunch. I'm gonna start with a container of vanilla Greek yogurt and I'm going to add some grapes in the shape of a creepy caterpillar. Next, I'm gonna throw in some celery. To this, I've also added a little bit of peanut butter and some pretzels to make it look like butterfly wings. Next, I'm gonna throw in a handful of Teddy Grahams, but these are actually the bug Teddy Grahams. So there's ladybugs in there, bumblebees, there's also butterflies in there. They're pretty cute. I'm also gonna throw in a Baby Bell cheese, and in this last section, I'm going to add some fruit, which is also going to be our treat. I've made some ladybug strawberries. These are really easy to make. You just slice your strawberry in half and then melt some chocolate chips. And I've added the melted chocolate to a little Ziploc bag to make it easy to add to the strawberries. I just fill in the little tip here to be the ladybug's head. Then I drew a line down the center of the strawberry and I've added a few little ladybug spots. And then to make this extra cute, I'm adding some candy sprinkle eyes. Now just like with all of our letter lunches, I have a really simple craft. All you need for this is some red and black construction paper, a paper plate, some googly eyes, a pipe cleaner, and some glue. If your kids are really little, you can cut this out for them, or if they're really good with scissors, they can do it themselves. Lily loves crafting, but as you can probably tell, she's still working on how to do the glue. It's time for lunch. It's all insect things. There's a, there is ladybug strawberries with chocolate and gooey eyes that are fake and candy. And some teddy grams that are bees and some ladybugs. There's a caterpillar in my yogurt. These celery's look like a butterfly. It's going away. Is it a real caterpillar? No, it's not real. It's just um grapes. Okay, because it would be strange to have a real caterpillar mm. in there. Mm. Mm. I'm glad my mom didn't put real bugs in my lunch. Griffin, you want some? Just a see. Oh, what do you want to eat? Want to eat a cracker? Is it yummy? Is it yummy? Next up, we have our letter J lunch. I'm going to start by making a jellyfish sandwich. For this, I'm taking two pieces of regular bread, and I've used this little plastic container to cut out two semicircles. Then for this sandwich, instead of mayo, I'm going to add a little bit of hummus to either side of the bread. Next, I'm going to add some turkey and a slice of cheddar cheese, and then I'm going to use the crusts for the sandwich to make all of our little jellyfish tentacles. I'm just gonna add those right in there and the hummus is gonna act like a glue to keep them in. To make this extra cute, I'm gonna add a couple of eye picks. This is also gonna help keep our sandwich together. And then I'm gonna take a little piece of leftover cheese and I'm gonna cut it into the shape of a smile. Now to this next container, I'm gonna add another J food. This is a really tasty Jello salad. Now there are lots of different kinds of Jello salad, but today I'm just using some strawberry Jello. Then I'm going to add some strawberries, some mandarin oranges, a handful of grapes, a little bit of Greek yogurt, and then a little bit of Cool Whip. The fruit is sweet, the yogurt is a little bit tangy, and the Cool Whip makes it creamy. It's a really good combination. In this next compartment, I'm gonna slice up some cucumber, and I'm gonna use my mini J cookie cutter to punch out the center. And just because I know she's gonna love it, I'm gonna add a little bit of this garlic hummus for her to dip them in. Next up, I'm gonna add another J food. This is some jerky. 
This is actually a beef jerky. I think she's gonna like it, but we shall see. Moving on to the treat section, I'm gonna add some Jedi jelly beans. These are the special Star Wars edition, and I'm just gonna put a couple in here. I'm gonna make sure she gets one of each flavor. I also have a few things to serve on the side, starting with this really awesome reusable juice box. I found this recently on Amazon, and I think it is so cute. I just have a little bit of white grape juice in here today, but you literally could put any drink you want. And then last but not least, I'm going to make some Jiffy Pop. Now this was the first time I'd ever made Jiffy Pop, so I was a little bit worried about burning it, but I think it turned out just fine. There really are a lot of cute jellyfish crafts that you can make, but today we just have two really easy ones. For the first one, you just need a paper plate, some googly eyes, and some strips of paper. And then you just glue strips of paper onto the plate. Here's another really cute idea using a recycled fruit cup and some crepe paper. Jellyfish is what kind of weird. Especially that one. It looks pretty, but kind of weird. Did you know there's over 400 kinds of jellyfish? <gasps> I didn't know that. It's lunch time. <gasps> there was Jello salad, some J cucumbers, some jelly beans, jerky, and a jellyfish sandwich. Look how this. It's hard to bite through. <laughs> you lost a leg. Ooh, I know how to open these. Just press a button and here's the straw. Griffin! Okay, here you go. Um, mm, strawberries? Oh. Is it good? No. It's kind of, <laughs> berries are kind of sour for him. Don't forget about the Jiffy Pop. Yum. I can take as many as I want. Um. A big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you later.